welcome to the channel everybody today i have this packard mx tour tint uh, this is pretty unusual i don't usually work on packard engines but this time in this case i will be working on one of these because this is one of a uh, truck of my client and has a couple of these so i will do uh, some labor on it because i want to learn about these engines anyway anyway uh this is a 2018 was built in 2017 but 2018 and it has 200,000 miles um, and uh, i'm using j pro to read the fold codes i don't have the packard software and um i decided to use j pro because j pro gives you gives you the best information and uh that will uh, uh work you know with polvos and some other uh, manufacturers by the way um the point is this uh we have a not checking in line see there is no ally there is nothing there but in here we have some active folds see there is three active folds and here we have the following folds see uh and there is the fold numbers uh, the first one is says pressure before turbine voltage too high or shorted circuit to supply uh, on PCI and it has some other information the second one says NG protection system uh, protection mode active and the third one EGR malfunction detected foul active by an active P14964 fold um so these fold codes are referring to different components and if you want to know the location of the components i'm going to show you right now uh, let's go to the other side these the two components are located on the uh, passenger side which is the turbo side the exhaust hat side of the engine uh, in this case, uh, the EGR bulb is going to be the one we have right here. This is the EGR bulb, and the plug goes all the way here. Here, right here is the the plug that connects the EGR. And the uh, the pressure sensor before to turbine pressure sensor. In this case, uh, people call turbine. Some manufacturers call turbine to the turbo and um, so that way uh, it's kind of confusing for some people uh, so referring to the turbo or the turbine right but anyway some people call it turbine the point the point is like the before turbine pressure sensor is going to be this one right here if you follow the tube it goes right to the exhaust manifold which can be classified as an exhaust pressure sensor which is this one right here and this one right here is the after turbine or the back pressure uh, uh, pressure sensor this is for the um, j brake basically the uh, exhaust brake so it closes and everything detects what's the pressure here and blah 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 anyway uh we uh had problem with this sensor and the egr valve which is that one there uh and that is what i'm going to check right now so uh it's pretty um, sometimes pretty hard sometimes pretty easy but uh, to have a better uh, understanding of the faults you also you also have to check the voltage of the sensors and for that you can use a multimeter or you can use something like this this can work you can check the uh, pressures the I mean the voltages like we're gonna see on this one it's connected and uh, check the pressure the, the voltage see it disappears completely and then we have zero here and then we have 4.9 the reference so it seems like the computer so this is the thing like okay, whenever the this is this the reference signal right here this is ground and this is the voltage um, the supply so this right here this goes back to the computer and when the computer detects and there is not and the the circuit is not uh 
sending the enough voltage, it will detect a fault and it will turn the uh, warning light on. And in the case of the EGR, the EGR, um, to do that, uh, we have to see, take the plug off. Um, and this goes to the, to the valve right here. And here we have that, uh, the plug. So this one's pretty hard because it's kind of like hard to get it. Uh, but we can try our best to get the signal. So we have to get like 12, 12 volts in one. See, that's ground. Uh, just be careful here because we have light voltage there. We can mess it up if we don't do it right. So be sure to don't let nothing interfere. So using more around. <laughs> okay, we have two bolts right there. Okay, that's one signal. We have power and we have the other signal. Sorry for the camera, it's kind of hard. But anyway, uh, that means then uh, we're getting the supply signal, we're getting the voltage, we're getting the negative power. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> and we're getting the uh, return to the computer, which means then it's very possible that we have a problem with the uh, with the EGR ball, in this case that one, uh, it is working as you can see. It moves right, but when we plug it, yeah, it is very uh, stiff. It doesn't move. So yeah, it moves a little, but uh, that probably that's the problem. But but it doesn't, um, how you say, like uh, respond to the command of the computer. So it's very sure that this motor is out. Uh, and that's the reason why the computer is asking us to check that uh, uh, EGR valve. So in this case, I see then someone tried to fix these. See, they replaced this right here. And probably because they told them the pressure was low. But in this case, not the pressure, the problem. Uh, it is the sensor thing is not reading the pressure. And that is the cause. Uh, and I will say then if you want to replace one sensor, replace two, the, both of the sensors. Uh, of course, this is not uh failing is just this one um if you have the budget i would say replace but if not just replace the one in failing which is this one but uh here uh i have a little uh video about uh packard's engine this is one of my first videos i'm doing uh, on packard's and i'm thinking that i want to be doing more since i have uh, uh some customers they have and i will say if you want to bring your truck to me with a packard uh, just uh, bring it with time with patience because i will need to go detail by detail with packers packers are very special uh, if you have a detroit engine uh i you can bring it anytime and i will be able to do many things but the thing is like a detroit and packers they're kind of european style uh, system uh, technology so they kind of work the same but it is the components and the logics the one that are different and that is what uh, makes them very very different they are not the same uh, but i will try to get on touch on these engine signs they are very popular getting very popular and also volvos too getting more into them but i will need time a lot of people doesn't have time a lot of people want trucks uh, done right away so if that's the case, I won't be able to help. But if you have time, you have time to bring the truck and like this customer have the truck and they drop it off for a couple of days, whatever is needed anyway, they wanna uh, charge them a lot of money to fix them and probably they wanna take so much time to fix it anyway. So uh, they brought it to me so I can start experience uh, pack cars engines and getting the best uh, 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 knowledge about it so I can be uh, uh, another uh, Packard mechanic science there is a bunch of them but anyway if uh, you want me to do more content about Packards bring your truck <laughs> and bring it with time and I will sure then I want to be able to uh, do more content and get you in touch with Packard engines uh, and uh, any questions comment below and probably later I will do a video uh, 
in resume of what was the solution to this problem so that way you know what was the uh, repair and you get the idea on what we, what we needed to do if my diagnostic was wrong or it was right or if we needed to do something else to complete the repair um, but uh, anyway this is all uh, look for me on instagram francisco my youtube uh, subscribe to the channel description of the video i have details how to come to the shop and um, also you can uh, see the description of the video to uh, see if you want to send support to the channel comment below subscribe like the video and thank you for watching